Hey, I stopped over to Red Wing this morning uh, in New Jersey, one of the grass strips that I go to, I feel like every time I go flying. Uh, on the way over here, I did steep turns just for some practice. I, uh, I remember when I was instructing for initial and more recently when I've done BFRs, I feel like steep turns are one of those things where people, uh, they do them for training and then they don't do them again for years or they do them during the BFR and it's, uh, they tend to get a little sloppy. So just real quick, just the, the one pointer that I'm gonna give for steep turns because I don't wanna sit here and ramble for, for 15 minutes, but uh, Steep turns, which is something that we do for training at the airlines too, it's you do it a little differently there. Uh, but again, the Airbus is a bit different than this airplane, so I won't talk about that too much. But uh, in these airplanes, you know, you, you pick your heading or you pick a, a landmark, you start to bank the airplane. Once you get to around 15, 20 degrees, you start to increase the back pressure. And then once you get to 45 degrees, uh, pick a point on the horizon that cuts through the cowling on your airplane, uh, if you're stable, obviously, uh, and just keep that point there. Uh, if the point starts to get higher, that means you're descending. If the point gets lower, then you know you're climbing. So just keep that point cutting through that, that area on the cowling on, on my airplane, on the Cub. Uh, it's one of the cooling baffles. Once the horizon cuts through that, uh, it gives me a, a perfect 45 degree bank. It's like 1.4 Gs and the VSI is, is just dead on. The airplane doesn't move too much. Um, the common mistake that I see people make is they get into the bank and then they kind of fixate on something like the altimeter or the VSI and then they, you know, they're focusing on the VSI and they don't notice that their bank angle is now, you know, 60 degrees or 65 degrees or something crazy like that. Or maybe it's at 10 degrees, 15 degrees. So once you get yourself established uh, in the steep turn and you got that point of the cowling, Look at your VSI, make sure it's not going up or down. Look at your altimeter, um, look at your attitude indicator, check your bank angle, uh, maybe check your airspeed, maybe you didn't increase throttle enough, but keep that scan going. But your main focus point should be outside uh, on the horizon, looking where it cuts through on your cowling. And that's, that's really the best way. And, and if you're doing a steep turn and you're starting to descend, you know, don't pull back harder. That's just gonna make things worse. Take out some of the bank angle, correct for it. And then once you're established again, go ahead and increase that bank angle. And then the same thing goes, if you're starting to climb, you can increase the bank angle or just you know, push, the, push the nose forward, get yourself uh, you know, um, stabilized again, uh, and then just keep, keep going into it. Um, don't assume that because you're, you're starting to you know, go higher that you know, the, the maneuver's over. Just recognize what you're doing, correct for it, and just keep it going. And then roll out about uh, 10, 15 degrees prior to, to the point where, where you started, and then go ahead and, and go uh, to the right um, and you'll know you've done a good steep turn is when you roll out uh, where you initially started, you'll feel your wake turbulence and the airplane will shake a little bit. Uh, that's how you know you've done a, a pretty good steep turn. So I'll, I'll show you the steep turns that I did and you can see the point, uh, the horizon cuts through the cowling and you'll see the, the VSI doesn't move too much. I think all in all, I probably plus or minus 50 feet, um, something like that. So that's well within standards. And uh, again, even if you have your license uh, and you've just done your BFR, you know, don't wait until your next BFR to do some of these real basic maneuvers. Uh, when you're going on your way to breakfast, it doesn't hurt, just take 15 minutes out, do some steep turns, turns around a point, S turns, uh, or the commercial maneuvers, which are my favorite, you know, the, the Shondells, uh, Lazy 8, stuff like that. So just a, a quick, quick lesson um, on, on, on a quick, quick pointer for uh, steep turns and, and how I like to do them. Um, so all right, that's it. All right, guys, safe flying.